Hi, welcome to another episode of 5 Minute 5, where we share family history tips in 5 minutes or less. I'm Juliana Smith, and this week we're going to talk about finding Irish origins in U.S. records. While it may be tempting to dive right into Irish records, your chances for success are going to be much better if you've discovered your ancestor's parish, or at least the county of origin in Ireland. And the odds of you identifying that important piece of information multiply when you do whole family or what we call cluster research. This means that you're researching the entire extended family, friends, neighbors, and any known associates of your ancestors. Focus on those surnames that you've seen multiple times in records. For example, I know that a Michael Meehan and an Annie Meehan were sponsors of the baptisms of two of my great-great-grandmother's siblings. and. A Michael Meehan was also a witness to her father's naturalization. While I don't know how they're related, there's probably a connection, and it's one that may have begun back home in Ireland. After all, they typically didn't just pull some stranger in off the streets to become a sponsor at their child's baptism. Be sure to carefully look through home sources as well. Clues may be hiding there in plain sight. A town name could be, may be found on the back of a photograph or a memorial card from a funeral. Sometimes you'll find clues and correspondence from family, like this letter that we got from an aunt. Newspapers are another great resource. Obituaries of immigrants will often list their place of origin in the old country. Be sure to check multiple newspapers, as some tended to include more details on the immigrants than others. Even check multiple pages within the same newspaper. In the Brooklyn Eagle of July 17, 1912, on page 18, the death notice doesn't give any indication of Jane Holly's origins. But on page 5 of that same newspaper, we find that she was born in Belbriggan County, Dublin. Newspaper extracts could also be helpful. Ancestry.com has the Barber Collection online, which has extracts from New York City and Brooklyn newspapers. Another interesting collection is the Missing Friends Database of Immigrant Advertisements from the Boston Pilot. This publication included notices posted by Irish immigrants who were seeking to reconnect with family from the old country when they came here to the U.S. You may find places of origin in cemeteries, on the tombstones, or maybe in the details that are found kept in the cemetery offices or by an affiliated church. Don't overlook the possibility that your ancestor's grave may have been indexed by a genealogical society or by a volunteer, one of those wonderful people who contributed information on find a grave. Military records can also include details on immigrant origins. For example, check the World War I draft registrations for immigrants who were born between 1872 and 1900 to see if their card included a town of origin. The pension records of immigrants who served include many details, and they could include the name of the county or parish. Ancestry.com has Revolutionary War pension records online, and you can find some War of 1812 and Civil War pension records like this one online with our friends at Bull 3. A unique collection on Ancestry.com is the collection of records from the National Homes for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers. These homes were set up following the Civil War to aid injured soldiers as they convalesce, and as you can see in this one, you may find that they included a town of origin in Ireland. Another interesting collection found on Ancestry.com are the records of the Immigrant Savings Bank in New York. Established by the Immigrant Aid Society in 1850, the bank used details like the place of origin and immigration dates and ship names as identifiers for its patrons. U.S. passports could sometimes list the hometown or parish in Ireland, this is mostly in later years, and in the most recent years, you'll even find a photograph. Similarly, you'll find immigrant origins listed in late 19th and early 20th century naturalization records, although some earlier records may contain it as well. Typically, after 1906, though, that information was standard. One last sort resource I wanted to mention is local histories. Ancestry.com is home to thousands of these publications, and they'll often include biographical sketches of the residents in a particular area, maybe a county or a town, like this one from the history of Cook County. You'll want to check the card catalog to reference these collections by location, and you're going to search them directly since they don't often surface well in a global search because of the way they're formatted. I hope this has given you some ideas for places to seek out your ancestors' origins. I'm Juliana Smith, and I'm wishing you the luck of the Irish in your search.